this four videos a day thing might be a terrible decision. Um, the next one is So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, which is the fourth book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the, Se Guide to the Galaxy series. And this is where I stop losing it. Um, and I when I start losing it. And I decided that I was just going to stick to the main characters unless I found something particularly funny. Um... So the first chapter is about like Ford Perfect and why he came to Earth like hitchhiking and um, yeah this like that was before Earth got destroyed. He started hitchhiking on the Earth and he got by three cars, got picked up by a fourth and decided that the planet was mostly harmless because I guess, I guess the barometer in this universe for danger is if someone you're hitchhiking with decides to try and kill you? Okay. Um, so then we jump later, and uh, Ford apparently wrote a whole lot about Earth, but it got trimmed down to mostly harmless. He also hasn't been paid for his contribution to the book, which, like, fuck you. Um, his entries also get put back in the book, despite the fact that Earth is just gone now. Uh, Arthur is on the planet, and he's talking to some humans, and in his personal clock, eight years have passed since the beginning of the first book where his house gets destroyed. Um, yeah. There's a, a girl named Finny that he talks to, and um, she figured out how to be happy right as the Earth was destroyed, which, like, sucks. Um, but then, like, there is the part, like, what happened to them, because if you remember from the last book, which you probably don't because that book is an acid trip, uh, the Earth was destroyed in the first book, but then I, they, like by the third book, he's on prehistoric Earth, and then um, they time travel to like current Earth, and the Vogans, the people who destroyed the Earth with the terrible poetry, they're there, but then they just disappear, and now Earth is still here. <laughs> His house is also still here, too, so that's cool. Um, there's a fish bowl that's in his house that I think everybody has one, and it says, so long and thanks for all the fish. Um, that's from the dolphins. <laughs> uh, he does some stuff, and then he decides that he wants to go and find Finny. Um, he gets abruptly hung up on when he, find, when he asks about her, and Arthur's being quite mad, like in the British sense, and everybody uh, thinks he's just drunk. Ford is doing something... Uh, so there's, um, two months after all of that for Arthur, uh, he finds Finney again. She wants to go to London and know how Arthur knows her name. Yeah. Um, her whole name is Fenchurch because she was conceived at Fenchurch Station. I, I didn't know British people did shit like that too. Uh... Yeah. He keeps seeing the rain god. Uh, the rain the rain god in this book series is just like, there's just a cloud of rain above the rain god, so it's following him everywhere, so everywhere he goes it's raining, and it makes him angry. <laughs> I think that's funny. Um, Arthur also decides that he wants to find his cave from when he was living on prehistoric earth. You will note that none of these events are tied together, and I really haven't stated like a main plot of this series. That's because I don't know the main plot. I think it's just trials in the life of Arthur. Because, <laughs> man, is this shit trying. Um, yeah. He goes and finds... He finds Somehow this leads him back to finding um, Finny again. And uh, something about freeing the dolphins. I don't know. Uh, Ford is on a ship going somewhere. Um... <laughs> Arthur and Finny end up kissing, and he tells her a weird story about someone eating his biscuits. Like, not, like, metaphorical biscuits, like actual biscuits, which, for, um, American friends, that's cookies. Uh, yeah. I'm reading what I wrote because I don't, like, even, this is one of those books where even if I wanted to remember what happened, I don't think I could. I love this series. Don't get me wrong, it's real. It's a whole lot of fun, and I wish there were more movies. But I have no idea what the fuck is happening. Um, yeah. So, Arthur takes her to see some stuff. 
And Arthur keeps guessing what's wrong with her because there's something wrong with her, but I don't know what it is. I don't think we know what it is. Um, chapter 25 in this book is like, hey, keep reading. You'll learn what Arthur's deal is in a second. Um, the last chapter has Marvin in it. I like Marvin. Marvin's the um, depressed robot that was played by Alan Rickman in the movies. So you can guess what type of voice I imagine Marvin having. Um, they go visit a guy in California who knows things. Uh, Wonko the same is what he's called. Completely bonkers. Um, the fish bowls are roll credits from the dolphins. Uh, Wonko tells them to listen because the dolphins save the humans. Also, God gave Arthur the address to his final message. Arthur wants to know where Ford is, and then Ford shows up. Also, Trillian and Zaphod have kids. Finny asks if Ford is reliable, and um, can an English sparrow carry a coconut? Man. <laughs> like, I tell this story however I want because that's what this series has done to me. Douglas Arthur, I believe his name is. Hang on. The author of this, the author of this series? Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams is telling the story however he wants, so I get to tell this story however the fuck I want. Fuck it. It's just a series of different events claiming to be a book. Um, I'm just going to read this out loud because I don't remember him asking me this. My boyfriend asked me if this book had an angry circle jerk, which I never felt it did. Oh, like the fandom. If there was like an angry circle jerk like some of these books get where it's like, no, you just don't understand the meaning. I never really felt like Hitchhiker's Guide had one of those, but maybe after my um, childhood experience playing online video games, I just never seeked it out, sought, sought it out, seeked it out, whatever. I can't speak. How do English? Um, yeah, I, I... Seems like anybody trying to look into like the deeper meaning of this series will just conspiracy theory themselves into a whole... Uh, man. Um... This book is my favorite by virtue of the fact that it focuses on Arthur the most, like in the series of books. Um, there's a lot of Arthur in this book, and that makes me happy, because I think Arthur's supposed to be the main character. I... man. The next book is called Chosen. Um, what the fuck is this? Chosen. Chosen? What is this? Uh, I don't even remember reading oh yeah i don't know what this book was supposed to be about i got bored and i'm not sure what any of it had to do with the prologue i'm not going to describe it to you because i don't the events don't make sense to me so i'm not going to explain them um you know how sometimes a book or a video game will make you ask questions but you don't want the answer to any of those questions <laughs> the next book was a good one. I wish it was a standalone book because I need more standalone books to read because I'm tired of spending all my money. No, I'm not. That's not true at all. Anyway, um, Butterfly Islands by Chris uh, C. Branch. It came out in 2016 and is the first in the Chronicles of the 21 Butterflies. The genres are fantasy, adventure, and historical. Didn't really pick up on the historical, but whatever. So, um, the prologue, there's a pirate queen and she feeds a man to a shark for revenge. Great start. So, Casey. Casey's the main character. She's a girl. She's getting married. She doesn't want to get married because the guy that her, her dad is marrying her to is kind of a shitbag. And if she marries him, she knows that her, all in her future is just going to be a life of beatings and shit like that. So her mom helps her escape. And she runs off and she ends up finding a lady who used to be a member of the 21 Butterflies. So she takes her to the... Um, island where the 21 butterflies are. Notice how I can remember most of this without looking at my notes. Um, when she gets there, there's one girl uh, who isn't super fond of her being there. Um, I can't find her name right now. Uh, but yeah, she's not super fond of her being there because she doesn't trust her. Uh, Casey doesn't tell them that she is the child of the governor of the town because the governor of the town is trying to destroy the 21 butterflies but she doesn't mention it because like she just she doesn't think it's very important um casey stays there for a couple of weeks i apologize my friends are talking on discord um she stays there for a couple of weeks and uh, she ends up kissing one of the girls because you know we're all about those lesbians um but like 
And I say this because I'm pretty sure... You know what? I'm going to leave that comment for the second book just in case I'm wrong. Because I will mention it in the second book if I'm right. Because I know it'll come up again. But anyway, um, there are these creatures. I don't know if they come up again, but there are these creatures in the forest called the Five Sisters. And um, they're whalers. They're scary. And uh, will chase you and want to rip out your throat. Um, so that's fun. Um, there's a kid that everybody's looking for because he ha he is the kid of a famous pirate who hid some treasure. Um, the governor wants to find it too. The 21 pi um, butterflies also want to find it. What's interesting that I just now noticed is that the 21 butterflies don't start off as pirates because they were staying on the island and it was like a mostly all-female island unless you were a male born into that society. It was mostly all-female, which is pretty cool. Um, apparently if the governor finds the ship, they're all doomed. So uh, Casey goes with all of them to get the boy from the prison and um, Casey is put in jail by her would-be uh, husband because he still wants to marry her. I don't know why, but he still wants to marry her for some reason. Um, yeah, they, are go they were going to kill him, kill her, but then the other 21 butterflies come and save her. But then their village gets destroyed, and um, Casey's butterfly name is Buckeye. All of them have butterfly names. Uh, I don't know what Dawn's butterfly name is, but um, yeah. I don't know what a Buckeye butterfly looks like. I wonder if it's pretty. Uh, I liked the book. I thought it was cute. I thought it was a, t a tad bit long. But, um, the lesbian or bisexual part is a tad underdeveloped, but I hope it comes up more in the other books. There was quite a lot to talk about in this book because, you know, yeah, that was fun. I only did two books in this one, but the next one is slightly long, but we've got a whole bunch of not very fun books coming up. So I might do another video where it's just like a variety of books. We'll see.